Yeah, now if you're wondering what to do on a Sunday afternoon, you grab your trusty old dirty looking airbrush and you decide to paint all your number panels. I want to flame them all out. I've uh, got three of them here that I'm doing. It only took uh, five hours to get these all taped up and painted. Uh, after I get all the tape peeled off, then they got to be pinstriped. That'll take a couple hours. After you get done pinstriping them, then you can lay down three or four coats clear over top of all of that. So, when you look at this stuff, you wonder about the time element. Then you start to figure out that uh, there's a lot of time invested and you're not going to get it right the first time you try this so I've been doing it for quite a while we do a lot I do almost all the stuff on the carts as much as possible I do probably more than most people do um, but that's the way I'm geared I guess I'm geared for top end performance dirty old work area but it gets used so much at such a rapid pace that I don't have time to clean it up uh, just the other day matter of fact yesterday uh, we were building custom bow and arrows on the same workbench and there's there's one sitting in our oven right now just peeled the tape off of these now they have to be pin striped that's something I really struggle with as my God made my eyes wrong to pinstripe be able to pinstripe you got to be able to see up real close and just about pulls my eyes out of the sockets to try and do that made my eyes the opposite I can see a long ways away but I struggle up close well we just arrived here in Baraboo Wisconsin this morning at tough dog leather we're going to go in and see Meg Dog. She does my upholstery for the go-karts. So Sandy and I are going to go in and say hi to Megan. Well, here's Megan. Hi. Hi, Megan. <laughs> well, here we are, Tough Dog Leather. How's it going? Good, kiddo. How are we doing? Good. Good. Good to see you. Me too. So we brought you some work. Sounds good. Yeah. You get to make a couple seats. Sounds good. Yeah, what we want to do. There. Obviously, as you can see, Megan's a biker. Yeah. And Megan does leather work, and she does the upholstery for our carts. So I really appreciate everything she does for us. You see, you're always busy working. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a busy girl today. Yes, always busy. Okay, turn around. I didn't, didn't get you in the back, yeah, Steve. This tough dog. <laughs> All right, turn around again. I'll get a close-up of that there. Cool. Her real name's Megan. She's known as Meg Dog. So yeah, kickstart shovelhead girl. That's right. <laughs> so we got the card in here. We're going to get all, talk about what we have to do and and in a few weeks, Megan will have this stuff all done for us. We'll come back and pick it up. Sounds good. Well, we just arrived in Reedsburg, Wisconsin at Horkin Custom Concepts. These are the guys that do my powder coating. Let's go in and see what 
Tracy and Susie and the boys got done for us. I'm supposed to have some motor mounts ready for me. Well, there wasn't anybody in the office. That's normal, they're always working. So here we go. These guys do a really nice job of powder coating. They're always busy. They've got just tons of stuff to do in here. Got all their hangers on the wall. Got their big ovens going. Parts hanging. They do a gazillion of these furnaces and grills. It's the boss man right here. He's got my stuff for me. We got a whole box full of engine mounts and everything here. And as you can see, they do a nice job of powder coating my parts for me. 